Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next Android tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the application object but before we even get started on that we need to do a little bit of tidying up here because we've got new activity and a few other confusing little details here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, go into our layouts and see the layout we have called a uh, new activity. We're going to change that to side fragment so we're going to create a new layout. I'm just going to call it side fragment. Okay. And it's ENT, not MNT. Finish. Okay. And then we're going to go into our new activity layout. And oh, new activity. And we're just going to copy and paste all the code. And then get rid of the new activity layout. And all, we're just going to do a little bit of altering. I'll lead you through it now in case you're following this tutorial. Okay. That's that done. And then for our side fragment, we're just going to change this to side fragment. It's just, it'll be much easier to follow if we do it like this. Okay, and then also we want to adjust, uh, so we can just get rid of this now. It's not needed anymore. And our new activity, we're going to rename that to a uh, second activity. So if we just open up new activity, you can change that to be called second activity. Or actually call it comments. Because that's what's in it. Okay. And then look, rename type, rename compilation unit, that's it. That just uh, renames the uh, file. And then main activity needs to be altered. Uh, because it has this here, we need to change this to comments. comment activity oh, it's called comments activity that's that done and then we just need to quickly alter our manifest to allow for a uh, whereas new activity just comments activity is all we need to put in there comments activity okay so now we've got that we've got that tidied up a little bit it looks much better now and it's going to be much easier to follow so what we're going to do now is we're going to do something called the application object. Now, the next videos or two videos, maybe even three, are going to be handling multi-threading, and there's a lot of um. Okay, when you get into multi-threading, things can get a bit confusing, but we're going to handle something called an application object. So sometimes you might want something to happen before anything else happens in the app. Like when the app is first opened. What happens? You can put it in your main activity or whatever like that in the on create for that, which would work. But it'd be a bit confusing and if somebody um reopens your app in a different activity, your main activity won't happen. So there's a lot of little details like that we need to be aware of. So what we're going to do is there is a class out there that's sort of like a generic sort of um a generic place to store code that can be reused for multiple activities. Think rather than having a method in one activity and then having another activity access the first activity it's hard to explain this but we'll just get into making our new class okay so we'll make a new java file and we're going to call this uh, andro or um yeah let's we'll call it application we can't call it application we we'll call it our Android A P P L I C A T I O N. Android application. I think that's spelled correctly. And then if we, so the application is what we're extending here. Just copy and paste that bit, a little bit there to make sure it's all right. Yeah. Okay. Finish. So we're extending the application subclass. Now what this is is essentially a new. I'll, I'll show you a way of demonstrating this, but this is a generic class in Android that's just this is this is what happened this is uh, these objects these methods are shared through the whole app that you're writing so you can write methods in here that are going to be used multiple times and we'll get to that in particular when we're looking at multi-threading so the first thing we need to look at with this application is we're going to start make our own create method and you don't have to put this in so we put in our override call and then uh, on on create and then bundle. Oh, it's public void on create, isn't it? Bundle. 
bundle state, we'll just call it, and then super dot on create uh, state. Yeah. So that's uh, that's our code for that there. So we're just gonna make a toast. What? Oh, derp. On create doesn't have um. <laughs> Um, if we look at activities, uh, if we just bring up our base activity, we don't even have an on create there. I'm very smart. Yeah, see what you on create here? You have a bundle being passed in for the uh, application object. You don't because there's no saving states when it comes to. Um, we'll get to saving states another time, but there's no saving states when it comes to this. So now we've got our on create method come up. We're going to say uh, toast dot make text this. Remember the context is this you can use the context of application uh, text application on on create and duration uh, toast dot uh, length short Okay, great. Change to length short. Ah, I spelled it wrong. What's this? Oh, yeah, we never called dot show. Okay, so now that we have that done, whenever this application, whenever the application is started, this will this will execute, and I'll show you that now in the emulator running. Okay, so now we're installing the uh, the app, and if I can just bring it up, what will happen now is the moment that this installs, you'll see that toast pop up. So all we have to do is wait for it to start. Hmm. That's interesting. That toast should have came up there. I mean, you need to go home. We'll just see if it uh, executes. Don't know what that is. I think that was just a test at one point. Yeah. Okay, so the toast not coming up. I'm just going to put a log statement in here. <laughs> Debugging. Uh, I'll actually no, I'm actually going to um, show you guys my debugging because I show you know I go away and I'm like oh it didn't work and then I come back and she give you the correction I'm actually going to uh, show you this manually so log um, on, cr on create and we need to create our tag strings so we go pub uh, public and uh, private Static. I'm gonna just say final. Okay, I'll, I'll throw a static modifier on. I won't make much difference. We're gonna go through uh, static modifiers when it comes to modifying menu icons dynamically, but that's a long way off. And then import log. Aha! Look at that. Giving us our error. Oh, never put in a string. Oops. Oh, that fixed it. We must override a super method. That seems to be done now. So if we run this, it should tell us now what's going on, roughly. I'll just check the log cat. Okay. Okay, uh, something's actually wrong here. I'm actually going to go and check it now, because I haven't got anything in the log. I am a twit. I figure I just I literally realised it there. I never put in our application object in here. You need to add it in the manifest. It'll search. See Android application in the name, save. We never actually put it in there at all. 
that's why I wasn't executing because Android had no idea or the, app, the phone had no idea what which which was the application class it doesn't detect it automatically so we have to put it in the manifest there um, that's just running now but if we it should pop up now yeah application on create that's the ticket that's nice that worked uh, if we look in the manifest look application Android name equals that's the take that's the uh, application object it looks like um, if you look at it here look Android name Android application remember Android name main activity title of the activities uh, labels intent filters we'll go through a lot of that in the future but that's the application object it's sort of a generic applic it's a generic class that starts up with the app so think of this as this kind of like super class now, very useful things to know about the application are like the onDestroy method, for example. If you want to close database connections, you should always do that. And just in general, you know, close down or release any me memory that you don't need. You can't really release it, but set it up for garbage collection, that kind of stuff. You can do a lot of work with that class. And in our next tutorial, when we start talking about multi-threading, we'll get into uh, network calls and just downloading base and image. It's going to be our next task. And then after that, we know enough information and we're going to start building a small app to download some stuff maybe from YouTube, some metadata for videos or something. But we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's the application object. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for multi-threading next.